Hey guys, I'm Coach Madden, official trainer, YouGoProBaseball.com, and today we got the top 10 baseball hitting drills to develop the perfect baseball swing. The first hitting drill I call catch and crush, and this is a great one. Uh, what you want to do in this drill is you're going to set up a tee, you're going to have a partner here at the side doing like a side toss. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to catch this baseball with your front hand and then swing with your back hand. It's a one-handed uh, hitting drill and all you're going to do is try to keep this front arm closed when you hit. This is a great hitting drill for guys who fly open uh, or who get real long in their swing. This is going to teach them to stay closed and stay short when they're hitting. So this is how the drill is performed and you just want to catch it, stay closed and hit a good line drive up the middle. Put the ball back on the tee, catch it, closed, and now I'm getting around that ball a little bit so I want to stay inside more. I'm trying to hit a line drive up the middle or slightly opposite field while keeping this front arm closed. If I swing and I see this arm go this way, that's no good. I want to keep this arm over the ball the whole time, finish the swing through like this. All right, the second drill is the Barry Larkin drill. The reason I call it the Barry Larkin drill is because I stole it from Barry Larkin. He came into the facility one day, he was working with uh, Ricky Weeks and D. Gordon and a few of his guys that he was helping train at the time. Um, and what they were doing was they set up a tee on the outside part of the plate. They would have a partner up in front tossing the ball on the inside part of the plate. They would take swings at the pitch on the inside part of the plate without trying to hit this ball. Okay. Now, here's the tricky part. Every once in a while, the partner would go to throw it and not throw the ball. From there, they only got one load. So when they took their load in their stride, if the coach or the partner didn't throw it, they had to immediately change their eyes to this ball and take this ball opposite field. So they're trying to hit the inside pitches to the pull side. And then if the coach or the partner does not throw the ball, they're hitting the ball on the tee to the opposite field without taking another stride. So it looks a little something like this. So the next hitting drill is called walking Happy Gilmore's. Everyone knows the Happy Gilmore drill where you're stepping behind, you're taking a swing from the partner that soft tosses it, getting your momentum going forward. Now the walking Happy Gilmore's, you're just gonna continue to walk down the cage or walk down the field with your partner throwing. Now be careful, you definitely wanna have an experienced coach to help you with this one because if the partner throwing gets too far out in front and the batter cannot control where he's hitting the ball, this could be a very dangerous drill, so make sure you have a good hitter doing this drill as well as a experienced coach to perform this drill. So all you're gonna do is the walking Happy, happy Gilmore's, but continue walking as you're doing the drill like this. One more. The next hitting drill is called the new fence drill. And I call this the new fence drill because I invented it, at least I believe so. And I put it in a video uh, last year sometime, I believe. And all you're gonna do, you guys know the old fence drill where you get up close to the fence, put your belly on the bat, and then you're taking swings without trying to hit the fence. Now we're doing the same thing in this drill, but now we're gonna add a T. And this is a great drill for guys who cast their hands or get out and around the ball because it's gonna make them stay in. What we wanna focus on, however, when doing this drill, is hitting a line drive straight down the fence or the batting cage net or wherever you guys are, straight down that line, maybe even slightly opposite field. Because what happens sometimes is when guys try this drill at first is they really cut off because they don't wanna hit that fence and they start hitting little dinkers to the, their pull side. We don't want that. We want to be aware of the fence, but we wanna be short in the back and long out in front and hit line drives up the middle, slightly opposite field. So it looks a little something like this. The next hitting drill I call Espos, and I call them that because I stole them from Esposito Training Systems. If you haven't checked them out on Instagram, go do so. This drill, all you're doing is you're gonna be opened up in your stance a little bit, and you're gonna get a nice big load. We're really working on getting loaded up on the upper body really far, nice and slow. And then we're gonna really focus on our bat path or our swing plane when we're, we're hitting this baseball. We're really not gonna think about transferring our energy forward on this one. 
more being super rotational and trying to get that good swing plane as we swing. Nice open stance, keeping that weight back, loading up that energy nice and slow, feel that torque. The next hitting drill is called angled toss. All you're gonna do is angle the L screen to the opposite field. You could also angle the L screen to the pull side of the field. For now, we're gonna go opposite field. I'll show you an example of the pull side of the field. What you're doing as the hitter is you're getting set up here in the batter's box, but you wanna act like the pitcher is still pitching from the front. So even though he's throwing from here, I'm not gonna be striding towards him and trying to hit it there. I'm gonna act like my pitcher is out in front. I'm looking that way. I kind of gaze over and see my partner. He throws that ball. I'm still striding normal, but then I want to take my hands in and extend opposite field. So I'm trying to hit it right back to where it came from. So it looks a little something like this. And this is angled toss to the pull side. Again, you're looking as if your pitcher was straight ahead. The next hitting drill is called the knee knock drill or the ball between the legs drill. And this is a great drill for guys who don't get into a good stance and kind of get those knees stacked over those ankles. We don't want our knees stacked over our ankles because hitting is a linear and a rotational movement. If we're stacked over our knees, that's great for jumping, but we're not trying to jump when we swing. We're trying to move our energy this way and rotate through it. So what we want to do in a good stance is have our knees inside of our ankles, right? So if we're stacked over them, we're not going to be able to create good energy. But if we have our knees inside of our ankles, now we've got good side to side energy and we can begin our rotation when we swing. So the ball between the leg drills helps players feel how to knock their knees in. All you're going to do is get set up, put that ball right underneath and then pinch the knees together. So now my knees are inside of my ankles and I'm in a good hitting stance. Then I'm just gonna get loaded up, stride, and take a swing. It's okay if the ball falls out. That's what you're trying to do. You're actually trying to gain some ground going forward so the ball will fall out. But the main thing here is that you're knocking those knees in and getting into a good stance so that you can create good energy, good ground force, and get a good swing. The next hitting drill is fungo swings. You don't need a fungo to do this drill. You can use your regular bat. But the idea behind this is that you're throwing the ball up yourself, swinging and hitting the baseball like a coach would. That's why they call them fungo swings, because coaches use fungo bats. Now, in this drill, what I like to do is I set my bottom hand first, then I set my top hand, okay? Then I take my bottom hand off, and I'm gonna throw the ball with my bottom hand, and then I've got a perfect place for my bottom hand to go. What I'm trying to do on this drill is create energy. I'm actually gonna step behind with my foot, toss, and swing the bat. It's great to feel the linear movement and the energy going forward, as well as working on timing with your whole body and feeling everything fluid, smooth, and taking a good swing. So it looks a little something like this. You're trying to hit the ball up the middle or wherever you're trying to hit the ball is what you're trying to accomplish. So here, it looks a little something like this. And the last hitting drill is the two ball drill from the front toss. Now, before we get into this hitting drill, I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button real quick with the little bell symbol next to it so you're notified when I upload new videos because I got a bunch of great stuff coming real soon, some more top 10 videos that you guys are gonna love. Now, let's get into this last drill. Two ball drill from the front toss position. Your coach or your partner is gonna throw two baseballs at you and he's gonna call out top or bottom. Okay, and then the hitter is trying to hit that ball. The coach is gonna call out top or bottom as he releases the ball. So the player is already gonna be striding and starting his swing and then have to react and swing and hit that top or bottom ball. This is a great reaction drill, great for working on contact. It's just a really all around great hitting drill. So it looks a little something like this. Top. Bottom. bottom. Top. Bottom. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. Um, I've got a bunch of top 10 videos coming out. I'm gonna try to post one every Thursday. 
So if you're interested in seeing those, make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell button so you're notified when I do upload them. Um, and I really appreciate it. If you guys want to share this video with your team, go ahead and do that. Um, and I really appreciate you watching, spending the time, and I hope you got something out of this video. Do me a favor and leave me a comment below and let me know which one of these 10 hitting drills is your favorite. I'll talk to you guys in the comments below.